Citizens of Briarcrest, you join us once again for the adventures of your good friend Lord Anseric of uh, House Gossork. I was going to say House Cargill, but of course we are now House Gossork. House Gossork with a very lovely dynasty uh, sigil there. Can we pull that up slightly larger? There we are, provided very diligently by Robin over on Discord. A beautiful little uh, house, a, a much better one than I made. Of I threw mine together in two seconds flat. The the knives of House Gossork above the, the sigil of House Cargill is fantastic. So a couple of things people were mentioning in the comment section in response to last episode. Um, firstly, the biggest one, this was a massive controversy, was the fact that I didn't look at the persistence house tradition. So I've pulled it up over on the side and I'll talk about that. Um, let's have a quick look at what we've got currently. So I chose uh, Truth, which gave us Intrigue per Stress Level, uh, Ignoring Different Faith Opinions, Scheme Discovery Chance at 10%. So Perseverance gives uh, Diplomacy per Stress Level, Martial per Stress Level, and Intrigue per Stress Level. It does give Hostile Scheme Resistance plus 10, which would have been quite good, and then Health of uh, a health Benefit of 0 0.5. So it, it's good. But as I, in my opinion, truth suits us a lot better. I'm still very happy with that decision. You've got to bear in mind that Varys has had so much influence and so much sway over this in, this character. Uh, I mean, completely molded him, right? And the scheme discovery chance plus 10% and the whole idea about pursuing the truth and, and uncovering the fact that, of course, our father was murdered by uh, Lord Galfred. It, it's just too perfect, in my opinion. Perseverance is fine. I think that's the type of thing you would choose later down the line. Just from a purely role-playing perspective, it's very hard to uh, correlate the idea of perseverance with our house, given that, firstly, we've had two characters. We've been here for, for five minutes. In the grand scheme of things, we are a footnote in history, right? Uh, also, worth mentioning, our character, our last character died at the age of 22, so he didn't exactly do much fucking perseverance, did he? Uh, <laughs> I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. It would have been my second choice in hindsight, but this one, still definitely something I'm into. The other thing was um, a lot of debate about whether or not exiling Roger, our half-brother, was the right choice. Uh, look, the guy was going to gain paranoid. Uh, because he's paranoid, he would have gained a lot of stress by not sending him away. I think there's, there's an argument for or against it. I'm still happy by, uh, that we did we did send him away, right? It was a decision Varys made to exile our mother, and she, of course, gave birth to little Roger. Uh, and our guy was molded by Varys and maybe stands by that decision. More importantly, he's a paranoid man. Uh, he's a cynical man, so might have even doubted that this was our half-brother in the first place. And he hasn't exactly got a good track record with um, members of his family being very supportive, given that his father was murdered horribly so i i think there's a justification either way but i do agree with some of the points that were made but again i'm, I'm happy with the decision so far speaking of decisions so far there is vengeance on the cards and the vengeance's name is lord galfred i'm going to ruin this entire man's life we're very very close to twice scheme now we? yeah we're not that far off it shouldn't take us to get together what's what's the 22 months eh, it's quite a while but in that time we can Clear up some of the other mess that this man has caught, by which I mean, of course, his, uh, his dynasty members. Who are we currently killing? Marie Piper, that's his granddaughter, right? It's something like third in line, second in line. So we've got Lady Collan of Pink Maiden. His two granddaughters, and then he's got another granddaughter after that, and then Aria Cargill. We've got to clear out quite a lot if we want to put ourselves in the line of succession. Ideally, the real plan is, of course, we kill off all the other members of House Cargill until it's only our branch. House Gossort becomes the dominant, uh, the, the dominant house of the Cargill dynasty, and I think that would just be superb. How have we only got 72%? How have we only got 72%? My man's got 47 intrigue. I don't think I've ever played a character with this high intrigue before, and he's not even he's not even as good as he possibly could be. He's just an insane fella. He's just an insane man. Okay, um I mean insane in terms of like he's 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 almost unbelievable in how skilled he is, of course. He's not like actually insane. He's a little bit unhinged, but he's not insane. Okay, well, let's continue on down that path then. In the meantime, 257 gold. Now, I could use that uh, money on supporting schemes or whatever else. I'm using it on developing the domain, but we've already got that covered. What is it to upgrade a castle holding? Oh, yes, ridiculously expensive. Okay, probably not worth it then. Um, we could consider the bigger picture at this point. My guy is impatient, but the question is, what is his goal other than take out, take out Lord Galfred and unify the dynasty? There isn't really a goal, is there? He has no passion for war whatsoever. He's got very, very high learning. Cynical, intelligent, we've got the holy site, we've got the house tradition, of course. 
Hmm, is there anything we could really do with that? I would like to send him back to university. And in fact, we can scheme while we're at university, right? Let's put this money to a good place. He's still, he, look, he's 32. He might be halfway through his life. Judging by the average uh, familial uh, kind of kind of dynastic lifespan, he's going to die any second now. But I think going to university could pay off if we keep him alive for a while. We could have potentially 30 years of a much better character. We can't go anywhere else. Oh, no. You can only go to university once. Really? Well, what about the Starry Sept, though? You've already studied here. Oh, no. It's a single-use thing. I had no idea. Bollocks. Does that eventually fade away, or is that just like... We've got plush and exotic carpet. How lovely. Who gave us a plush and exotic carpet? How suspicious. Is that a thing that will ever disappear? I guess not. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, fine. We could do something else, I'm sure. Feast to hunt a pilgrimage? He's a learned man. He's not... He's not... He's not very zealous, but we can go on a pilgrimage for other reasons than to, uh, you know, explore the faith. We can go and bing a load of sites on the way over there, like ping them and get the uh, get the stats for it. Might be a bad idea. We've got to do something other than just sit here and very slowly scheme with much else going on, right? The High Septum would grant us a kind of a high lordship, really. Where is Blackhaven? That's down in the Stormlands, right? Um, I mean, it's I don't hate it. It's Don House Don Darian. Oh, uh, I don't really think it's necessary. Ooh. Maybe we just sit around and we keep trying to trying to pull up some plots. I think it's the right idea. I don't think there's anything we should really do right now, to be honest with you. Lady Lucy against the trite Pergonance. That's what we should be doing right now. Ooh. Lately, I've often felt as my life was some sort of bard's pathetic tale. And I'm just a character in it. I feel like I'm not always the master of my own destiny. And whatever joys or sorrows I experience are like those of the tales of legends. Naval Gazer. We lose diplomacy, but we gain learning. Oh, it's getting very introspective. Now, here is a fair point. So, oh, we could visit the brothel, drop some stress. Do we want to do that? I kind of like the idea of playing a high-stress character. When you're paranoid, you haven't really got a choice but to play a high-stress character, right? It's high-risk, high-reward. If we get another level of stress, it takes up to 50 intrigue. And that puts even Varys to shame. Um, I, I mean, look, we could visit a brothel and drop it down. No, honestly, I don't think worry about it. I'm worried about the, the lifespan, but let's not bother. Show me some Valyrian blades, because somebody said that House Cargill has a Valyrian, um, some sort of Valyrian steel, anyway. So this is just the list of, yeah, I need to see our specific one. I don't know what it's called. Interesting. Okay, you know what? That's not really much use. Let me see if I can dig it up from the artifact finder. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on a second. Instead of doing that, is it possible that old Uncle Galfred just has it? He does. Rem Remigi. Rem Remige. There's some sort of wing or, or something to that effect. Golden Goose bought golden eggs to Westeros. Along the blade, it reads Golden Loyalty, Golden Duty. Oh, he, he improved it as well. Proved by a skillful weaponsmith before an important tourney. Oh, God, that's risky. Monthly renowned captain effectiveness by 15% is actually kind of nuts. Oh, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. How I would love that. I will get that. I mean, that would be a benefit to unify in the house is we get a Valyrian steel sword along with the... Along with that. I don't think there's any way we can steal it or claim it or grab it or do anything, right? Ah, feast next door. Okay, that could do it. Meet the neighbors. Greetings, Lord Anseric of Briarcrest. I hereby to, here invite you to my feast at the castle. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe get some intrigue out of it. Do we really need to worry about dangers? What is this? Is there hills? You don't have to worry about that. Um, Caravan Master, yes, please. And let's just head out. I'm not going to spend any more. We don't need to we don't need to worry about that. We're all good. Thank you. Hiram Mountaineer. Okay, two gold. Sure. It's two gold. It couldn't hurt, I suppose, to be a little safer. My acquaintance, Lord Mallet, is hosting a banquet in Bramsfort. The time has come for us to depart. The feast is in honor of King Stannis, who is a truly remarkable human being who deserves additional reverence. Okay. Come on now. I don't think he's that good. And here we are. I can't believe Stannis is here. The servants run across the hall, bringing the fine decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some baked truffles already. Brilliant. It's just free prestige, ultimately. Um, you can't find anything here. Okay, then. Let's forget about that. I don't like that our spy master is referring to us as her beloved. Let's put you on support schemes, given that we want it 100%. Still only 86, huh? Can invite some people, but it just makes things slightly more messy, doesn't it? Because here of Lord Peter Baelish? No, Peter Piper. I heard he picked a pick of pickled pepper. Um, I could bribe you. 58 gold. God damn, no. No way. That's like three years worth of money. Even more than that. Don't think about it too much. Right, hello. How are you doing? 
So, let's see if we can make friends. Can we try and befriend King Stannis? <laughs> Mischief. <laughs> we could try and befriend Stannis, though. We're not a diplomatic man, but we are a manipulative man, and that might be a hell of a way to get some favor. We managed to get up into the small council. Maybe we become spy master for the entire round. That would give us some strings that we could pull on, eh? Okay, let's give it a go then, huh? Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall, and our gracious host, Lord Maliard, has welcomed us to the feast. I look forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. It's taken much of the evening to get myself close to King Stannis without making it feel forced. After all, the best friendships are natural. I want to think this is spontaneous. By R'hllor extols my maybe friend, disguising a belch. That was a heavy course, and soon after the last weighty one. Simply sits too heavy in the stomach. I cannot believe the servants expect to keep serving their master, working this poorly. Yeah, sadly, it was a poor choice, I think. Oh, we loudly sing at the praises meals, which give us prestige, and Mallard will be happy, but it'll upset Stannis. Should we give it a go? You're fun, but not that fun. We've got a 19% chance of just turning him into our friend. 19% chance we grow closer to forming a friendship, or a 61% chance he just gains 30 opinion of us, which is massive. There is no bad outcome from there as far as I'm concerned. Go. You're fun, but not that fun. All right, you know what? Fair enough. I start, What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one, thanks to the presence of King Stannis. You are a weird man. Look at that smile. That's where the trouble began. That is hideous. <laughs> Oh my god, answering. What a good evening. Amazing. Right. Okay, look, 30 opinion with our liege lord. Just suddenly, that's totally fine. Rumors have been circulating about Reynard wanting to curry favor with Stannis. to confirm as he hands him a gift. My dearest liege, it's lovely to see you, knowing that we meet. I bought you a marvelous pelt as a token of my appreciation. Stannis grins as he studies the animal hide. Seeing how happy he is from receiving gifts, I realize I'm missing the opportunity to improve my standing as well. My liege, I too have a gift. Uh, I'll dedicate a toast. So that one has a slightly higher chance. Look, look, our guy is an intrigue master. He's a manipulator. He knows the right way to go about this. Or we spill our drink on it. If we spill the drink on it, what would that do? It would just, it would just ruin it between Reynard and Stannis. We're not so concerned about that one. Have we got a hook on him? What is this? Oh, we do. We know he's a witch. Oh, isn't that terribly convenient? Um, no, my liege, I have a gift for you as well. Oh. You attempted his current favor with the Liege of Lord Reynard. Oh, we've really gained a rival out of that one. I can't believe it. Really? Well, Reynard, what the hell are you going to do about that, my friend? Because it turns out... Uh, wait, what, can we blackmail him again? No secret that can be used for blackmail. No, no, no. Sorry, I want to demand a payment if possible. Can you just simply not afford it? No. Well, that's okay. A strong hook on him. He's not exactly going to do anything against us, is he? Let's see if we can get another event. You know what I said? I just don't know why you find it funny. Justin cocks his head to the side, and I withhold my chortle. I haven't told him that what he said could be interpreted as something lewd. If you squeeze the head, a thick substance will pour out. Oh, no. I, uh, never mind. Or, the risk of embarrassing Justin, hoping that you share the same sense of humor. I, I don't think he's the, he's a cynical man. I don't think he would be, um, making penis jokes at a table in front of King Stannis. That's disgusting. Perish the thought. After copious amounts of food and drink have been consumed, I find my rival Lord Reynard in the middle of loud conversation. He turns to me and he notices my presence. Uh, and you, your mere presence fouls this evening. Oh, Lord Reynard. Lord Reynard, are you really going to start this? I think you've had enough for tonight. We gain 75 prestige and we embarrass him. Nothing but an abhorrent scullion. We can try and beat him up. Some bring joy wherever they go. Uh, others wherever they do pretty good uh we gain 150 prestige Ooh, he spends 150 prestige and loses 20 opinion because we're going to throw him out of the feast yes embarrass him get out a toast to king stannis here here uh lord maliad of bramsfort loses 40 opinion of king stannis because he's humiliated oh dear and shockingly, when he turns to his guest, instead of praising him, he immediately launches into a, a vociferous and frankly rather inspired spiel, questioning Stannis' intelligence, moral character, and general smell. Oh my god. That was unseemly. That was amazing. <laughs> what a play. Um, I'm not going to say here, here. We're just going to shut up and keep quiet. We're trying to impress Stannis, not join in with the deriding. Um, now I shall depart. Yes, goodbye. Don't lose too much stress. And here we are. We can now finish the feast. Amazing. Well done, Lord Maliard. Good job on embarrassing Stannis. 
Journeying through Rushhaven, I passed by a particular looking tent. Oh god, no matter what, we're getting stressed. We want to know our future but because we're paranoid, but we don't want to know our future because we're cynical, or we bring him with us to court, at which point we get the double stress hit. Fine, tell me my future. Good omens. Good omens. That should be a stress reduction for a paranoid character. And now we're out of food. You've just come from a feast, and you're five minutes away from home. It's just a bit of mold. Well, nature will provide for us. Yeah, we've got decent learning. Yeah, nature will provide for us. We're fine. Home sweet home. I don't want to lose too much stress. Do not want to lose too much stress here. How's that murder plot ticking along then? 86% chance. Five more months, and then she is hopefully very dead. Look, if we could just kill as many of his family members as possible. Oh... Hold on. Hello, you want to marry John Quill? Whatever. Bye. Any any more favor hooks I'll take? It's a random course here. Greetings, my charming vassal. It said that any knight can make another man a knight, and I've noticed you are not yet a knight. I would be happy to right this wrong and grant you knighthood. Oh, Stannis. Oh, big man Stannis. I accept. Look at that. 74 opinion with King Stannis. And being knighted, of course, is a fantastic honor in the Seven Kingdoms. Sir, Lord Anseric. I don't know quite the order of that. I think you would just call him Sir Anseret, right? Lord Anseret? I have no idea. I have no idea about honorifics in the Game of Thrones world, I'm afraid. I don't know which one would take precedent there. Twins. The blessings of the house. The blessings of House Cargill. Lucia has given birth to two perfect little children. Answer Godhawk. Go Godhawk? Goshawk. Uh, she is intelligent and a twin. And then Merrick who's also intelligent and a twin. Merrick after the father. I like that name. Um, and then that's after his mother, right? Oh. You know what? I actually really like that. See, we're going to go for that. May you grow strong and wise. One named after his father, one named after his mother. Holy crap. She gained end of childbearing. That's okay. We've got three children out of you. That's more than appropriate. She's created by sickness. Oh, God. No, it's the baby. All babies cry, but little uh, Anise, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but the four barrows make everything worse, so she's ill then. Severe health penalty. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're going to like... Just as I start increasing the life expectancy. No! No! Why did I open my mouth? Lord of Peasant I no, it does not matter. In the end, we're all mortals. Um, He is a paranoid man. I think we would send it. Too late for caution. Oh, my God, it's a miracle. A miracle treatment. A delicious, a delicious liquid metal. Um... Just drink mercury? What happened there? Fire water, I think, was the name for mercury that you drink in the medieval times. It's a miracle. Well, whatever it is, it's bloody worked. Except poor, sweet Marie Piper. Bon appetit, Marie. Very good. I like that. It rolls off the tongue. Just as she rolled into her grave in her death throes, a bone got stuck in her throat. Now it's unclear what exactly killed her. Amazing. Another one destroyed. Another one destroyed. How do you think now, uncle? Huh? What's it was a line of succession? We're not even on the list still. Okay. Um, well, Marie Piper is dead, so she's definitely not in the line of succession. The daughter of Lord Pater. Goodbye. Get her murdered. 86% chance again. I am genuinely so shocked that we do not have a higher murder chance than that. Job done right. 25%. Spymaster. Intrigue only gives plus 47. Wow. Really? Wow. I just can't believe it. That's insane. I mean, in worst case scenario, if we do find someone that uh, is a bit more tricky, we can, of course, invite some people, but that's not a problem. But, uh, show me my, sorry, show me my court physician. Curing the life of a paranoid man is absolutely a great way to make a friend. Uh, hover. Raise him to nobility. Are we allowed to? He's a maester. I mean, I could. From now on, you should, you should be, a, you should gain a house or I just send him a gift. Just send him a gift to raise him to nobility. Is that weird to raise your maester to nobility? Can he still serve as a maester if he's raised to nobility? Congratulations. He's no longer your maester. No, he's better than that now. He saved my life. So you know what? I owe him. Uh, even if we do have to get a new maester. Actually, can we, do we just put him back? It's okay. There you go. Hother White Guard. Thank you. That's what you get for saving the man's life. What do you mean he left my court? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, but is that... No, he's, he's back. That was just uh, the notifications catching up. That's fine. Ah, I'm happy about that. Again, save the life of a paranoid man. You deserve to be uh, you deserve to be gifted something for that. But we have some money that I can bring in here. So we'll take the 20 gold from there. We'll take the 20 gold from there. I guess with our other hook, we can either keep... Uh, sorry, our other, other scheme that we're about to be able to start doing. We can either start the murdery. Oh, God, it didn't rename it. Yes, I remember. Um, what, what is it? The keeper of the, the, the hawk guard. That's right. Hawk guard. Save. 
Thank you. A lot of the time it just, does, just refuses to do it. Statistician Rowling. Okay, that's good. We need a successor. Dunstan. Welcome. There you are. Problem solved. Um, I don't really care about the Lordship of Blackhaven. It's a bit far away, and I've got other things to, to worry about. Septon does not endorse us, so we can start swaying him. You know what? I need to keep a personal plot going at all times. There's no reason not to. It's just one of those things that I need to get back into my brain. Well, while since I played CK3 properly. Hello there. Your hook will soon expire. On Prince Elias of Dawn, I think then we... Uh, we just can't do anything. We just can't do anything. He can't afford to pay us off. Um, I really have nothing at all I can do for him, I'm afraid. Shit. Okay, well, that's frustrating. It's a strong hook, too. Damn. I really just can't do a damn thing with that, huh? We've got no more blackmail schemes. That, that's really it. That really is it. When can we blackmail you again? Demand payment. Um, you have an available hook. I have a hook. Yes, you're right. That's correct. You already have a strong hook. But I thought you could repeatedly demand payment, right? Huh. Maybe it's changed in this. Maybe I'm going mad. Maybe the game is updated. Who knows? I haven't played enough to keep all this stuff in my brain anymore. Uh, you were always there for me, and I hope you know that I'm grateful. My daughter Branta approached me in a rare moment of contemplation. Oh! When I need it, I expect you to be there for me too. Get a weak hook on it. Well, if we're going to become house head soon, we don't really need that. That's what it means to be a guardian. Yeah, honestly, let's try and just, uh, let's manipulate her in, in a different way. Ooh, and it's time for a break from Brant's routine lesson plan. It might be a good time to pass along some of the values of House Gosshawk to her. Discourage her bad behaviors. We can try and get rid of Arbitrary, right? Oh, no, we could try and just give her a good one. Okay. She might gain cynical, might gain honest, or might gain just. 81% chance she gains cynical. Actually, that's pretty good. It will cause a massive amount of stress. Do it for Branta. We've done it. She loses arbitrary, she gains cynical. I like that. Um, I'm off to the whorehouse. Do I really want you off to the whorehouse? Not really. I really don't want that. Well, that's okay. Easy come, easy go, I guess. That would briefly hit 50 intrigue. Never mind. Here we are. A very important moment. We've also got a Diplo request. Hello. Take this humble gift. It was a treasured possession of mine. Uncle is sending us a horseshoe. What have you slathered it in poo poo? What is this for? Okay, uncle. Thank you. Um. I'm not sure why. What is he trying to appease us? What is this? I don't trust this at all. I don't like it. We better double down and kill him twice as fast because there's, some, there's something suspicious going on there. Okay. Um. You kill you. How does that help me in the long term? Let's have a look here. Um, Piper, Piper. Who, so Marie Piper's dead, though. How is she still in the line of succession? She's very dead. Okay, just ignore that, then. It's just game being strange. Um, Valesa is... What is that? She's looking She's looking quite... Uh, she's looking quite emaciated, but it's not related to anything, so we'll just start on a murder plot. It's not going to happen naturally. It might not happen naturally. Oh, a child. A child lost in the forest. How terrible. Oh, no. And she was mangled. How sad. The search went long into the night before it was called off and reconvened at dawn. It's only when they found the body mangled and torn after some vicious hungry beast attack. How terrible. They say children in the future. We gain stress. Why are we gaining stress for this? Come on. Don't worry about it. I think it's because she was a child. Ooh. Picking up a padded sword for a sparring match with my daughter Branta, I noticed a tattered journal on the sideboard. From the cover, it contains exercises and best practices pertaining to martial arts. Branta glanced in my direction. Oh, that thing. I read it for the illustrations, but you can borrow it. Get one martial randomly. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I think it's because we're below a certain threshold. Plot was uncovered. Oh, shit. Um, right. That is a problem, isn't it? No agents possible to invite. Honestly, move on. We'll come back to her. Move on, move on, move on. Right, my good friend. Galfred. Who else is in the sign-up? Um, Valessa, we can't touch. She's dead. Why is the succession not updating? I've killed half these people. Well, I guess you can die next. We can't murder her for another few years. Okay, till next year. Kill his wife, make him suffer. He might remarry. I don't like that. Um, Where are we in this line of success then? Oh, look, there are other, other children being formed. Babbies being formed. Who are forming these babbies? Whose are these? Ah, okay, so that's not going to happen anymore. But let's make sure they're out the way. Almost ruining my damn succession. 
over the years, I've received a great deal of portraits from various noble women, both foreign and local. Until now, they've mostly gathered some dust in the attic. Perhaps I should bring them out to set my most, most romantic pursuit. Um, bring out the portraits? Well, I mean, you are lustful. I should be doing something with this a bit more. Okay, sure. Let's have a look then. Um, this maiden. Lady Ranella. Uh, put it in the upper pile, right pile, left pile. What is this? Favorite, put it in the upper pile. Oh, somebody said this was Tinder. This was CK3 Tinder. I remember. I've never used it. I'm, look, I'm, I'm a gamer. We don't do that. Uh, <laughs> put it in the right pile. Put it in the left pile. Swipe left. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Get out. Right, what about you, madam? 16 years old and pregnant. What is going on? Uh, left pile. Madam. Lady Glissa. She is literally about to die. Left pile. Madam. Maris Blackbar. Ah, here we go. Um, again, also 16. Bruh. He's 34. He's 34. I mean, I understand it's medieval adjacent, right? Um, ugh, left pile. Left pile. Hello, madam. Ah, here we go. Lady Sansara. 33. Our husband's a pirate. I don't want to mess with any pirates. Left pile. Uh, Lady Sazine of Sunnyvale. Interesting. Interest novice physician traveler. Scholar, astute intellectual. Oh no. 29 learning. No, put it in the left pile. She's a nerd. We don't deal with that. Lady Mega. I don't trust a name like that. She might she might be enormous. Put it in the left pile. Lady Riona. She's too violent. Left pile. We've got Lady Frella. Lady Frella, she is an enormous lady. She's a gluttonous lady. Uh she's old gods. Left pile. Not interested. Lady Lysa. Ah, here we go. Lustful. Craven. Oh, no. It should be too difficult. Left pile. Lady Laura of Timber's Wedge. Hmm. One-legged. Scarred. Traveler. This is okay so far. Arbitrary, paranoid, temperate. Diligent. Too much effort. Left pile. <laughs> Lady Jonna. Uh, how's you? Sounds suspicious. Get rid of her. Left pile. Don't like the look of that longbow. That's assassination waiting to happen. Lady Mathani, wife of Lord Eusen, has sent a parcel with nine portraits. Um, she's a drunkard. Left pile. Jesus Christ. Uh, is this, this event just goes on forever. It just goes on forever, huh? Awful idea. We're moving on. We're moving on. Wasn't worth the bit. Oh, skim discovered. Bollocks. Come on. How do they keep uncovering this? Could we just swap to an abduction instead? Abduct the child. Yes, abduct, swap to an abduction and fine. It's only a 46% chance. Let me just chuck him in the oubliette. No one will ever find out. Um, pay a hunter. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely we're not getting anyone else involved here. Ah, I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, drank my daughter Branta and Dionessa in tow. They stole a whole keg of wine and drank most of it. Branta becomes our friend. Oh, when she gains gregarious. Diplomacy attraction for new personal scheme power. That is quite nice. Temperate. Or we give a diligent. Ooh. What do you think? They're both good. They're both good. Temperate. Stewardship. Small health boost. Um, Hard to say, really. Hard to say which we would go for more. Cynical. Paranoid. But he, he likes a good time. You know what? Go for it. He's, he's got rackish. Yeah, okay. You know what? Go for it. Keep gregarious. And we've become friends with our child. That's lovely. We're making a lot of money. We're making a lot of money here, and I really should do something with it. We're just sat on 260 gold. Let's upgrade some stuff. Um, I'm just going into tax buildings, to be honest with you. Because we might not be able to fabricate hooks like this forever. So it might I, I think it makes sense investing early. Simultaneously, we're making almost no money from these, are we? <laughs> um Hunting Grounds. Hunting grounds would be good because that also gives us an incentive to do more hunts later on with a different character, so I think I'm okay with that. And then we'll fill in that last building slot with another tax building. I could build a city. How much is a city? Is that like 200 and... Oh, 380. Good God. We could do that. That's fine. A bracelet for Lucia. Um, his wife. His wife. She turned him down. Maybe it's time... Maybe it's time that we go back to that idea. We can seduce her again. Yes. You know what? She's taken his eye once again. She's, she's the only lady to ever say no to Lord Anserek, and he's going to win her over. He's going to win her over. Well, obviously, clearly not, clearly not the only lady not to say no to him. 
Uh, why are we swaying Merrin? It's just my septum to try and win him over. Well, he endorses us now. Go, go, get out. We've got bigger fish to fry. Wife. Wife, it's time for love. 35% chance. You'll get her. You'll get her, I believe. Oh, never mind. My dearest Anzarek, it's so good to see you. Uh, what you do to follow is you rule over our realm, and I would like to assist you any way I can. She looks over her shoulder. I may have... Well, let's not dwell on it on the matter, but what I did say is that a mutual acquaintance owes me a favor. Silent breeze moves through her hair. I can't help but gaze at her terrific features, attempting to etch them into my mind. She shorts her head and expects, looks at me expectantly. Uh, what, like a golden retriever? How did you? Never mind. Please enlighten me. She provides you with a hook on a subject. Ten opinion. Or, I'm more interested in you, my treasure. Immediately become lovers. Oh, my God. As I look down upon my wife, the coy lady Lucy, sleeping in my arms, I find myself smiling with satisfaction and bliss to think she returns the affection and devotion I feel. Oh, plot complete. Hey, amazing. Well done. Madam, Liara Summerbeam, dismiss you. She's a spy master. Oh, no, that would, that would cause all sorts of... That would cause all sorts of problems. Let's go, not go for that. So Merrick's our heir then, huh? Little Merrick. Let's see how this kid comes out. We don't necessarily have to play Intrigue forever, though we have set a very strong precedent. And the, until Lord Galfred is dead and the dynasty is smashed, we've got to at least be training a character in Intrigue. Well, that's just Brand to turn into a spy master. Maybe our next successor, we do train in more Intrigue. Because I think until this is dealt with, it needs to be our, our top and only priority. God damn you! God damn you! Do you know how difficult you're making this? Ugh. Okay. I hate to say it, but I feel like Strongly's slipping through our grasp here. How long until we can murder her? Tenth moon. Oh, I think this is going to be very, very difficult. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it to hell. Okay. Um, what do you want? Permission granted. You want to go and marry someone called F Felice? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. There's more hooks, isn't it? You never know. They might become... Famous and powerful and owe me a lot of money. My falcon died. Oh, Orin the falcon. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweet falcon. Kill this child. Kill the child. Slay the child. Ooh. The deed is done. Kendron will never get to grow up. He will never know the pains and pleasures of the world. Apparently it was a quick death. The then I'm doing its job before my agent even left the room. Just as quick with the guards, however. They soon had my agent in chains. He was mercifully executed before he could mention me as the force behind the crime. We've become overwhelmed with stress. But you know what? It's a silver lining, isn't it? Because we are now 50 intrigue. Good God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. So. Let's talk about the succession then. How are we looking? We are there. We're actually in the line of succession now. Good. Three people stand between us and everything I've ever wanted. Get her abducted. We cannot scheme against this kid at all. Oh, God damn. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think we... I think we murder her. I think we murder her. That won't take long to pull off. We've just got to wait a couple of months. Um, my lord. I was able to fetch a secret that Otho tries to protect Warden Amaris. Warden... A who? Who are you? Um, the Warden of Castamere. Oh, she's like a, a mayor. Okay. Uh, ruins of Castamere. Oh, no, 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 no. She's got absolutely no money then. Castamere. Yeah, it would make sense. We just had like two activity inv invocations at the same time. It's House Faring? Right? What is that? House Faring. Hello. Uh, Lord John of House Faring. Very lovely to see you. That's quite nearby. And what's this one? That's House... Redwine? Oh, two for two. Legend. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, I, I'm not sure. House Redwine, I would assume, would be quite far away. Oh, no. No, it's, it's right there. Okay. Um, join a hunt? This guy's an actual high lord. Has a bit more bit more sway in the realm. I can be persuaded. What's wrong with Stannis? This is Stannis the second, don't forget. Not Stannis the first. He's looking a little under the weather. Are you okay? He's just ill. Severe health penalty. He's looking a bit peaky, but he'll be okay. Um, uh, no, we've got a hunt of our own to deal with right now, I'm afraid. We've got a hunt of our own. No distractions, only Murder. Do you think he's figured it out yet? Do you think he's figured it out? Someone will have mentioned... I was going to say, that just cancelled my other plot. No, it didn't. Good God. This is game. You can't You can't keep doing this to me. Uh, no, don't worry about that. Abandon the idea. We're just going to have to grab this lady and throw her in the Uberlet and hope she dies. Because if we execute her publicly, of course, we are going to be in a lot of trouble for that. Hello? Oh, God. Stannis himself. King Stannis. 
I know that you are Mary Piper's real killer, and if you wish for my silence, you will do as I say, except he's getting a blackmail hook on us. Fine. We just got the schema trait, though. Oh, hello there. Hostile scheme power up by 25%. If Stannis fucks around, he's going to find out. Now, we could go for Seducer, because I do believe that suits the character. He's a lustful man. He's got many a lover. We could go with Torturer. Given that this was the guy who tested poisons on his childhood lover. Or we go for Spy Network, which I feel like I've got to test out, huh? Lots of secrets. Lots and lots of secrets. And that also has charismatic, attractive characters more willing to spy for you. That could be good. Spider. Direct game diplomacy intrigue. I'd love to see it. And I feel like this could be the character to do it. I'd love to see that. And he's still quite young. He's only 36. She will be at my mercy. Get her. Yes. I hope she likes her new quarters. What do we do with her? What do we do with her? I, I, I imprison her. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I accidentally right clipped my desktop. Uh, <laughs> move to dungeon. Throw her in the dungeon. Anger her close family. See if I give a shit. She's got to travel over. Give her, give her some time. And then, torture her. Galfred is going to be very upset. Galfred is going to be very upset. And so is my septum. It's not illegal. Is it illegal? She can imprison us, but it's not like... We're not like breaking the law. Stannis can't do anything to us. Get her tortured. Get her tortured. It had to be done, I'm afraid. She is going to have a mental breakdown, which is fantastic news for us. She has become melancholic, which is fantastic news for us. This is a 19-year-old lady. A 19-year-old girl that I've thrown in my prison, and I'm torturing to within an inch of her life, and hopefully... Hopefully, she'll die soon. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, what do we do about this damn child? I'll be his guardian. But I'll be his guardian. You want me to educate this kid? We can't. We can't because I'm already educating two kids, right? We've already got two wards. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. 55 injury. Good God. <laughs> um, ooh. Merrick has become pensive. That means that he would be terrible at intrigue. Stewardship, then. We build this realm for the future of the dynasty. We take Strongmead. We have been upgrading Briarquest. All of these murders and deceptions and deaths so that we can unify the house. And we're going to unify the house with this man. I'm sure of it. So we need somebody to take the reins and make it golden. Because we are still part of the Golden Goose, of course. It might be House Gosshawk. We, we are still members of the of the Cargill dynasty. So it's time to lay some golden eggs, little Merrick. It's time to lay some golden eggs. And we're going to find you a better educator. Well, we're not a bad educator, of course. We've got intelligent. But there's probably a better educator for him than us. Although, I say that with not a huge amount of confidence in hindsight. Let's go to the character finder here. See, see who in our core. Um, my realm, please. And then sort by stewardship. Uh, honestly, I think our intelligence score and our learning score contribute more so, if I'm not mistaken, than anybody with kind of an average stewardship score. Indulgent waste. We could, we could specifically look for a court tutor who's very good, and I will. I'll move heaven and earth for my sweet baby boy. Uh, let's have a look. Search for a court tutor. Notify me whenever ever it becomes available. We'll, we're going to spend this money on something, right? And spending it on his education seems like a good idea. Um, high learning. Decent learning. The thing is, we're better learning than both of them, so you failed to impress me. Ah. Ah. It's come to my attention that I know about your secret. What secret do you know? What what secret do you know? My child heritage. Lady Masher exposes that we have a bastard. Ah. Uh, very well. We'll accept. These people we can deal with, okay? These people we can deal with. Why don't we just simply go to people who have hooks on us and we deal with them? Why don't we deal with them? Ask for gold. Why not? I, I could I could maybe try and win him over a different way, I suppose. Uh, we'll deal with them. We can't murder anyone else that's causing us uh, headaches. So we will show them that we were the wrong person to mess with. We have to set a precedent here. She she actually lived. Oh my god, an East Coast orc loses the traits sickly oh Valessa died in my dungeon who could have believed that bled out after a lengthy torture session we do not get kinslayer for that 
even though she's distant kin, uh, we, we won't get anything from it. It doesn't count, remember. If they die, if you stab a man with a sword and then he bleeds out a month later, apparently that's fine. Isn't that right, father? Isn't that right, uncle? Isn't that right, uncle? Where are we now? We are third in the line of succession. I was going to say, who's this damn kid? Kill him. And then I realized it's, our, it's, it's his kid. How long until we can move on this child again then? 3.30. How old is... I want I want to see him die and, and us be stood there waiting to take his lands, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it. His daughter's about to die. Maybe the kid will die through some other means. I think that's I think that's very unlikely, let's be honest. Okay, Briarcrest. Um, I, I might save up for a sissy then. Oh, no. Keep keep this upgraded. Keep this upgraded. Let's go for it. Hill farms at the highest level give what? Okay. Um, cattle pastures. I'm, lo I'm looking very much into the future here. It's probably very irrelevant. Anything that reduces the cost of feasts. That'd be nice. Warrior Lodge. What was that? Reduce the cost of grand tournaments. Workshops are good. A god's wood. Interesting. Not really relevant, though, is it? Um, I'm not sure about any of these, to be honest. What do hill forts do at the highest level? Just a bunch of, yeah, skirmish. Okay. Um, I think the castle pastures then. Why not? There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Live your life. Oh, speaking of people not living their life. Bon appetit, Collian. Oh, no. In her death throes, a bone got stuck in her throat. And now it's unclear what killed her at all. Must have been something she ate. Oh, dear. Uncle Galfred. Oh, Uncle Galfred. Are you starting to piece it together? And now all we have to do is kill Gerardus Barrett. That's what a shitty, shitty health symbol. No offense. I hope that's not someone... I hope that, like, one of the developers hasn't <laughs> made that their custom sigil, but... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just a big P. I don't know that that's really what I'd have gone for. It doesn't incite much fear or, you know, uh, grandeur, honor, anything, really. It was just a big P. Oh, my daughter, Branta. Willow is bullying her. She gains arbitrary again. No, 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 no. I mean, it's good, but we, we chose... We chose that house tradition that, that frowns upon arbitrary, right? She's a lustful, gregarious, cynical. She really is a chip off the old block. Stay hidden for Craven, or she gains, what, shy? Oh, God, lazy. No, these are terrible. No, 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 no. Hostile skin resistance up by 20% if she stays hidden. Traction opinion is lower. Scheme secrecy is higher. Travel safety is higher. So, oh, actually, it's not that bad, is it? Normally, I see Craven because of my CK2 brain, and I think, well, that's just terrible. But actually, for an intra character, it's not bad. Stay hidden. Keep yourself secret, daughter. Keep yourself safe. Ah, the High Septim's hook expired. And in fact, maybe I turn the tables and we get a hook on him. 90% chance. The thing is, the High Septim's a pretty good one to go for because he hasn't got a court. So he's not got very high, you know, defense against plotting against him. But he's also a religious head. So he's going to make a bunch of cash, which I'm very happy to see. It comes to King Tier character, right? So we can we can do something big with that. We became the new head of the Cargo Dynasty. Galfred died. Oh, my God, he was unhorsed. I didn't even get my final revenge. No. <laughs> no. I mean, look, we gave him a lifetime of suffering. Every day he woke up to a different letter about a family member dying. I'm happy with that. What I'm not happy about is the fact that we haven't inherited Strongmead. Are we in line? We're not even in line anymore. Well, then the revenge turns to Lord Gerardus. The boy who almost ruined everything. You know what? I'm glad he died. I don't like the fact that he died doing what he loved, which was jousting in a tournament. He was a gregarious man. He was a knight. But I think we made every living day of this man's life a misery. I think we made every day of his life a misery. Branza. Uh, Chris will increase her intrigue. Oh, shit. 64 stress. We're going to end up killing Anzarek if we're not careful. Send it. Send it. She increased her learning by one. That was not worth it. On the plus side, though, we've got 58 intrigue. My head feels like a thunderstorm trapped in an egg. I squirm, trying to get comfortable on my throne as a messenger spins me some irrelevant stop story about pirates or bandits or ravers or some kind of common nonsense. The pressure in my skull builds to money release somewhere and almost involuntarily my mouth opens to speak. Spit it out, moron. Too slow, but head this fool. The court around goes deadly silent. We become reclusive. Or we become irritable. Reclusive gives 20% stress loss. We lose diplomacy and stewardship. Irritable. Ah, oh, God. 
prowess, stress loss, dread gain, unleash your anger. Bring me the head as a footstool. We gain a pickled human head. Oh god, we lose intrigue as a result because people think we're a big joke, I can only assume. Behead anyone else who tries to speak to me. Everybody get out of my sight. Deserted halls for 20 years. We lose three intrigue. Oh god. Pickled head. Permanently. We lose two intrigue. Oh, this is none of these are good. None of these are good. Behead anyone who tries to speak to me. We don't actually gain any negative from that one. We just gain the tyranny. And the tyranny isn't terrible. All of our subjects lose seven opinion of us. I think irritable is the right one to go for. Okay. I think I'm alright with that. Um, Wendell. We don't need to worry about that, thank you. Wendell, goodbye. Right, well, I think we are owed uh, a title at this point. So if you don't mind, Septon, get to work. Fabricate a climb on that county, please. We're owed this land. This is our dynastic claim. We're taking back Strongmead. And how's Barrett? You're, you're getting ousted, my friend. 751 troops. We've got 424. Shit. I might have to hire some mercenaries, which I'll happy, happily do. Happily do. We are taking that back. Oh. The Iron Throne came back? What the hell happened? My lord, a letter marked with the seal of House Baratheon has arrived. The messenger gives a quick bow and hands me the letter to peruse. King Stannis Baratheon has proclaimed the new ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. What? My monkey Malia has died. Goodbye, Malia. Wait, this, the Iron Throne has returned? Or is the Iron Throne just this? Just Dragonstone? Or has he got to bring it all back under the... King Joffrey, Storm King Renly, Princess Ariane, River King Edma. Yeah, no, they, they, they'd have to build it all back together. Bowen Stark, Eddard's son. Wow. They'd have to, he'd, he'd have to take back all of the Seven Kingdoms. They've totally ruined it, haven't they? What's happening over in the Iron Islands? King Roderick. Look at that crown. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Um, King of Westeros, but he's not, though. He's the king of nothing. He's the king of the Crown Lands. Stannis receives a nickname based on his personality. King Stannis the Cold-Hearted. Fair enough. Enjoy. The morning chorus of Twittering Birds coming down into the cellar. The light of dawn giving way to gloomy darkness not only by sputtering lamps. I yawn and stretch as I go, my feet padding across the floorboards. Once my eyes adjust to the lack of light, a culinary tragedy is unveiled. Beatrice has eaten everything. If you enjoy my cellar, you'll love my dungeon. Damn you, Beatrice. I needed that money. God damn you. Okay, um, forget about the court tutor then. Where do we go from here? I, I, I have to take back the... But if we do that, we, we, we go to war with... We go to war with, with Rosby, right? I think, I think it's gone. I think it's over. I think we just rolled the dice badly. And now... Strongmead is gone. Because we can't just go to war against you. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so sad. What does the Iron Throne grab there? Lordship of Lowell. Great. Oh, I don't think there's anything we can do about it. I think it's gone. Wilderness can be such a dangerous place. Oh, a local mystic and insisted on seeing me. We got a bad omen for 10 years. Why? No, 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 no. The blood show me your future is dark and full of death. Yeah, other people's mainly. But let this be known. Don't, don't try and fabricate hooks against my man. It just doesn't work. Goodbye, Lady Masha. I want, I want the bandits to whisper in her ear. Your gift from the Golden Goose. She's dead. Dead as dicks. Have we got anyone else to worry about? Obviously the king, which I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not going to be assassinating Stannis II. I feel like it's a pretty poor idea. Why is he allowed to call himself King of the Iron Throne, I wonder? Is it just because he has King's Landing? Bizarre. It's such a, such a strange outcome. Oh, our spies are right there. Our spies are right there. Have they always been right there? What a fool I am. Yeah, they were, they, were just, they were just right there all along. Oh, we need to start rebuilding our spine outward then. I feel like we, we, we've, we've gone too long without getting some good hooks. I feel like we've gone too long without making some good money. So, uh, Stannis, Stannis, Stannis. Let's have a chat then, shall we? You've got a hook on me. It's only fair I should have a hook on you in return. Ooh, hello. Um, you're going off to meet your peers. Yes. People are saying I need to do this more so that they can learn languages and stuff like that. Uh, gain, gain some skills. Yes, we are paranoid. Uh, we 
can't say no, though. We can't say no. Off you go, little child. Enjoy. No! He's about to have a mental breakdown because he's so itchy. Overwhelmed by stress. Uh, Lady Patrice. Lady Patrice. What is Lady Patrice? She's the wife of Lord Lucas. Um, 20 gold? No, it's not worth it. We'll just keep her as uh, somebody there. Can we check for spies in Stannis' court? Maybe we get some people who might... Ah! Oh, a strong hook on the high septum. Oh. Oh, now I am happy about that. Oh, I am very happy about that. I will I will cash out if you don't mind. Cannot be used again for five years. That's okay. A selfless regent, really. May help your son and heir if you die too early. Why would he die too early? He's only critically stressed. Um, my, why does my wife... Why is my wife not... She's arbitrary. Oh, for God's sake. She's arbitrary. Opinion of you plus 100, but she's still situational. I guess it's because she's got the arbitrary trait then, huh? We could... We could get rid of her. Justin Lynchfield, your Castellan court tutor. Yeah, okay. Sorry, wife. You you just can't be trusted. We're paranoid. They, they may be deeply in love. We haven't got that high opinion of her, to clarify. It's plus 68. But we've got to do it. Uh, this guy knows what it's like to be trapped in a regency. Maybe he, Varys did do it as a test. But even so, he's got, he's got experience with that. Ooh. And speaking of Varys, master of masses. Doubles the amount of spies that can be recruited without penalty. What we need to do is start building spy networks across the entire realm. And I think that's exactly what we will be doing. Check for spies in your court, then. A spy can be hired. Dammond. Okay. Uh, so how do we hire him as a spy? Just recruit as a spy? How much is it? Um, it will just accept. Ooh. Hello. Loses stress. Because we're paranoid. Ah. Well, this is good. This is good. We can just go around hiring a bunch of spies. Let's get spies in Dawn. Not many spies, but let's just get... Let's just put a spy everywhere. Um, check for potential spies. Here we are. And then... Uh, Nysterica Nightfall. They always have such cool names down in Dawn. Here. Um, let's get you as a spy as well then, please. Yes, please do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amazing. Um, strong hook on Harris. No, you're good. Okay, and then I need to spy in the Stormlands too, if that's okay. <laughs> oh, this is very silly. I'm a big fan of this. Okay, let's do it then. Corella. Corella, welcome. Welcome, welcome to my ranks. Welcome. I like that a lot. And then the Westerlands. Who is in... What happened to House Lannister? It's now House Crossing. House Crossing? I was going to say, that's the phrase, right? Oh, dear. Okay. Um, Cersei married... Eamon Rivers. I, I still don't understand why he was Rivers. I guess he was a bastard, but then he founded his own dynasty. He was raised to nobility by the phrase. Walder Frey has somehow conquered the Westerlands. I mean, credit to Walder Frey, eh? Um, right, okay. Let's get you spied on as well. She, uh, contact Elsie. Elsie. Sounds a little suspicious. Okay, Elsie. Uh, would you like to join me as a spy? Amazing. Welcome aboard. How many were allowed without penalty? Seems to have a lot of choice. No! High taxes! This king. This king will not be kinging for long if he keeps doing stuff like that. We'll get that. We'll get that hook on him. We can solve it. Don't worry about it. Okay, more spies, please. Hello. Hugo. Get recruited, Hugo. Thank you, thank you. And then what else have we got? Mountain in the veil. Vale. Yep. Is it worth going all the way to the north? We might as well get spies everywhere. I want a nice long spy network. Look at you. You look like a damn elf. What's going on? Um, check for spies, please. And then Anya Herring. Perfect. <laughs> this is crazy. I like, I like this spy now. I'm a big fan. So that's a white harbor. What is that? Whoa, that looks awesome, huh? I'm sure I've noticed it before, but it, it's still very cool. Wow. Um, and then there's Winterfell. Slightly less impressive. There's Winterfell, though, isn't it? This is just, just Winterfell. Right, give me another spy, please. Uh, check for spies. Oh, we already at maximum. He just doesn't have any potential spies. Amazing. Oh, unless we get little birds, at which point we can recruit some recruit some children. That's good. That's good. I like this. We got a nice little spy network. Look at that. Very good. Varys would be so goddamn proud. Did we get our ultimate revenge? No, I feel like we didn't. I feel like I tried everything I could. Uh, I mean, of course, if I'd have just assassinated Golfred or kidnapped Golfred and he died or whatever, it would have just passed to this kid anyway. 
So we did everything in the right order, as far as I'm concerned, to, to really maximize that. We made him suffer. That's the important part. We killed his entire family until it completely fell out of his hands. What we've done is we've cut off our nose to spite our face, because now the Valyrian Steel Sword in our kind of traditional, traditional seat is lost. For now. For now, we will get it back. I'm going to get that bloody sword, too. Is there a way to, like, fabricate a hook on an artifact? I don't think there is, right? Because we have no claims on this artifact whatsoever. And I don't know if there's ever going to be a way we can get it. Oh, I open to suggestions on that one, because that would be a real shame if we lost that forever. Either way, thank you for joining me today. It was it was a good series of murders, and now we've got to start to bring a little stability. Now we're, now we're not so blinded by hatred and revenge. Given that I think we got adequate revenge. They kill they kill uh, Merrick. We killed his entire living family except for one person. I think that's pretty good revenge, but still felt a little bit short, right? We've got to build this round. We got to, we got to make sure it's a nice stable foundation for the future of of the dynasty. So that's going to be the plan moving forward. I think. Thank you to Sir Ice, Sir Idiot Guy, Drusus, Tarsus, Magnus, Optimus, Maximus, Geeg, Justin Mitchell, the White Fox God, Biblically Accurate, Femboy, Meep Skull, Master of Worlds 22, Carly's Rainbows, Ayaba, Jonathan Cameron, Wookie Overlord, Dame Stitchell, Liam Mercik, Bryce. Sleepy257, Baumaline, Akimbo Orphans, Jerry the Emperor, Teb Funk, Floor 1235, I am Druids, and Valkyrie for their support. The executive produced tiers over on Patreon. Thank you. Much obliged. Hope you're enjoying the many, many series I'm putting out daily. I don't know how long this is going to last. I can't promise I'll be doing it forever because three episodes a day is a lot of work. Thank you as well to Watchman, Becky, Alyssa V, Revan, Thorn Midwinter, Cast the Red, Bubonic Ghoul, Fedor, Mr. Yeti, Ever Vigilant One, Carnal Grained, Emmy the Ewok, Plasma Wolf, Toasty Buns, Owoni Chan, Elkel, Punky Roo, Loxorus, and Elliptic as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Play the Game of Thrones mod. Enjoy the Game of Thrones mod. Thumbs it up on Steam. Do all those very good things. And I'll see you all tomorrow.